and the match is going to start. We uh, are going for the knife round. The knife round is live, live, live. And it's always fun casting these knife rounds, isn't it? I love it. I love the shanking parts. <laughs> you love the shanking part. <laughs> oh, let's see. As, uh, of course, we're going to decide now who is uh, going to get that beloved CT side. As of right now, uh, we are aware actually of the audio issues right now. We are fixing them as fast as we can. Oh, that happened fast, <laughs> but it looks like Venko Gaming uh, do want to go for that CT side, which is, uh, you know, arguably the more favorable side on the on cash. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Well, I have to say that on on this map, I'm not sure anymore because. It really depends on the teams because some teams who are, have a very strong T side, they tend to take it on the T side. But then again, it really depends on what kind of team you are. So looks like it will actually be a full on Beerus. Uh, and Venko having to fend off this Beerus. Nico is in the corner. Will pick up one. Will pick wow. up two. Xavi chiming in with two of his own. And oh. as we list. I hear that we're not having any audio and we have some slight technical difficulties. Anyway, I'm going to talk you through it. Fanko Gaming picked up that first round. The ever so important pistol round. What is going on with the auto? But uh, yeah, we are uh, asserting ourselves out here, but Fanko Gaming did to win the first round and not losing a single man there. Uh, our producer is uh, not very happy with that at the moment, but we are uh, we are fixing it. Don't worry, guys. But uh, onto this round, uh, it is going to be a clean mop up as a, as by the looks of it. I know you guys can't see it, but it is only one man remaining, and it's going to be Nico for the Untouchables, which uh, surely will get cleaned up. There we go. Catch up just comes around, takes him out. But uh, CTs do lose two uh, two people, two players. Yeah, they do. So uh, that is uh, two rebuys there on the CT side. Then again, on the anti eager round, it's not that big of a deal. Um, one more eco gonna come out for the uh, for the untouchables, and that will give them actually a very comfortable buy in the next round. Looks like it will actually be a, a more slow paced round here for the T's, and they're actually gonna try and run out mid. Nico will pick up a wonderful one dig there on Xavi. And just takes his head clean off, catch up with one of his own. Headshot onto Ferret. Only man left there is Akid, and he will get taken down from Edge's op. So, uh, right now, 4 on 2 situation. Nico and Scandalous are left for the untouchable side. Looks like they will be moving towards that B side. That B side is theirs for the take, and as the bomb is going to go down from Scandalous, Nico's going to toss out that Molotov to uh, maybe deal some damage. Doesn't do the trick, though. Bomb is down. Oh. Oh, he does actually do the trick. <laughs> it actually did. <laughs> he just torched him. <laughs> yep. That was... Uh, <laughs> that, that took an unexpected turn, to say the least. Are we back in the game now? I think we are. From Looks like I'm we seeing, are. Uh, we are. As, uh, well, that will actually be a very comfortable buy now for Untouchables because they had that plan now. They're going to get so much more money, and that, that means full utility. Uh, but then again, there's full utility on the Vanco side as well. Yeah, and now an AWP on uh, Erch as well. Looks like he's going to go for that fast peek on towards the B side, and there are a couple of players lying in wait. And in fact, the whole lineup, Erch is going to spot one, going to miss one, going to go for the re-peak, flex shot coming out. There we go, Erch is going to shut down one, going to go back tech 9 to end, going to sit in this one-and-done spot. Players just walking left, right, and the center. Archer needs to be careful there. Comes around, shuts down Akit. Gonna go for another flex shot. There's support coming in, and his T's are finally getting some kills here, but that was close. Two on three now. They have yet to get the bomb down. Ketchup comes from the back, shuts down Ferret, and Klitz will come for the rotate. Now, one on two. Yep. That flashbang, uh, he tried to throw that into Checkers. Didn't work out. He's uh, made his way over towards Checkers. The bomb is uh, down just in front of the B bomb site. And uh, right now, Scandalous needs to play his cards right in order to uh, win this round. It is uh, 
Ketchup, who was on the other side of that vent, not peeking out, not making a dumb mistake. They are actually, they should be actually trying to give him this brand and then move in with him. But uh, Scandals will actually, well, I'm not sure what, what, what he was trying there, but Squids will actually punish him for it. That means the fourth round, also for Venko Gaming, very comfortable. Yeah, indeed. But uh, I don't know. Uh, haven't you seen Ersius play? Like he was, he was just walking around like a little ninja. He was using the smoke to uh, to his advantage from the opponents. And yeah, he got away with so many things right there. But he's got to go for a fast peek on towards the A main. He's not going to be meeting up with anyone anytime soon. Actually, readjusting his position now. Catch up over at mid, and a slow pace uh, from the untouchables. Just having a case. Should be gonna molly up the uh, the jump, making sure nobody's gonna go to what's uh, that position. And uh, slow peekings at the moment. Yep, as uh, right now nothing is uh, is really happening. We see a player uh, AK that is uh, making his way over towards that blue door, squeaky. Over towards uh, he's just gonna position himself there. That uh, as of right now, it looks like Ketchup is the one holding middle, doing it passively, making sure no one gets out of middle, but not picking the fight just yet. Xavi will uh, take down the uh, player towards B. That is scandalous. So that is now a four on five situation, and it looks like uh, the push is on towards A. Uh, Ketchup will take down Fair, who uh, peaks a little bit too wide there towards A main. And as of right now, it's starting to be a clean sweep as the, the T's cannot find an entry anywhere. 2 on 5 right now. Ertje doing a lot of damage with that AWP. Yeah, like you said, I mean, Ertje now sitting on uh, a comfortable two frags and he's been hitting those shots. Ketchup finds one and there's Ertje with that trick. Clean sweep, 5 to 0, only losing Ketchup in that round and. Well, I'm pretty sure this is going to be another round on the board for uh, Venko Gaming unless they pull out some form of miracle here with uh, such a low budget. Well, then again, with those tech nines, you ha always have to be careful. You uh, you can get drive by it so easily in this game. As uh, the push is on uh, towards a uh, three players towards Kiko. No, actually, make that four. Oh, it's Aked who's actually going to throw a smoke and he's um, going to make his way over towards main later on and it is uh, let's see who is over towards that a side it is goods and it is ketchup both with those automatic weapons so the awp of Hertz is, uh, is somewhere else goods will take down one ketchup follows up with a second but this is exactly what i meant frags are coming in here for the untouchable the a side just shy of being taken as nico will take down ketchup so now the a side is open at moving in with that awp is not gonna get a pick almost gets that shot Nico on 2 HP, will get taken <laughs> down, of course, by the 5-7 of Ertje, alongside the damage of, uh, of Kutz. So that is 6-0 to zero right now, and Venko Gaming are pulling away. Yeah, indeed, but it was a bit of a dangerous situation, but then again, I mean, uh, the two remaining players from uh, Venko, they had so much utility left, and all they had to do is just to use it, and that was, that was exactly what they did. They just threw out a grenade, they got a kill with it, and then it was his last player with 2 HP, which is... Easily to clean up. So, AK round for uh, the Untouchables. Let's have a look what they are doing. As uh, they are going to be setting up for a uh, potential AI assault, but slowly looking for uh, a peek, see where there's uh, any holes in the defense. And Xavi, yet again, finds one onto the B side. That's Kendilla's down. That's your Lurker down. So, surely by now, Venko Gaming should be realizing hey, that's your Lurker down. Let's make our way towards this A side as uh, the executing is coming out from. Uh, the Untouchables will have Ketchup boosted on the, on top of this box here. And he, he's got to go on top of the container anytime soon. There we go. Shuts down the first one. Nico Del coming in with the return. Onto Klitz. Still a one-man deficit. Make that a two-man, three-man deficit. As Xavi picks himself up another frag. And it's down to one man. Not for long. USP has a shot from Ketchup. Drops a kit. 7-2-0. And looks like, uh, yeah, well, uh, the Untouchables uh, at the moment getting uh, absolutely destroyed. Yeah, they are. And that was a brilliant little uh, personal performance there from Ketchup. Actually picking up that last kill with the USPS. That is uh, very well played from uh, from Ketchup right there. Showing off his strength. 
And, uh, well, then again, they're on the CT side, so uh, the Untouchables still have every way in this game if they, uh, they're they not out yet. Need to pick up some round. Ketchup is uh, aiming towards that blue squeaky door who's just been opened. I believe that was by uh, by Nico. Nico's actually going to make his way out. I'm not sure if they spotted this. Yes, they did. Ketchup will take his head clean off. As uh, Helsey will take Dunk Savvy in the meantime. Right now, the three on four situation. Helsey uh, lost 40 HP there. Still, he's not out of the fight. Mid was is under control here for the Untouchables. Looks like the push will be on towards B. Ertje will uh, shatter the hopes and dreams though from uh, from that sunroom. Helsey. Making his way towards the vent. Actually picks what? up two brilliant headshots there. I'm not sure why Ertje wasn't expecting that. And uh, he gets taken down there from Ketchup. So now two on one situation. A kid has that bomb. He's going to make his way towards A. Well, towards mid first. But he should be going towards A because there's no one on that A bomb side. Glitz and Ketchup both around B. Do they think they have the bomb there? Yeah, well, that could potentially be the case, but Akit, he's not using his momentum at the moment. This could be such a mistake, but here we go. He's just kind of wait the time, making sure the CTs are uncomfortable with his position, with that position, but they're not moving, and Akit now, he's going to have to commit towards his B side. Going to smoke off the CT alley, and make his way forward towards that bomb, but there's two players right there, ready and waiting for him. Only a smoke don't catch up. Going to go for a fake. Five seconds remain. He has to go for this plant. As a he does get the bomb down, but no, he a little does. bit too late. <laughs> well, yeah, that was if only he went to the A bomb side. That is just wow. That is, I'm not sure if that is unlucky or just just the misplay. But then again, I can understand him by just you know waiting. I I, I think actually they just gambled like okay, we're gonna hold the B side. If he plans mm. A, we're gonna play and retake. We have a kit anyway. So I think that was the philosophy there from uh, from Kits and Ketchup, and it paid off. It paid off for them. They gambled right. But again, okay. Ertje, yeah. wow. I completely, uh, completely agree with you there. I mean, if you, if you have two players left, uh, it's so much easier to uh, to re recapture a side. But the action seems to be happening on this uh, A side. Ertje is just standing in the middle standing of the smoke. In the smoke again. He, it's the second he, time does, he, does he doesn't care. <laughs> It's the second time he did, he did this actually on one of the first rounds over towards B as well, and it paid off brilliantly. And he just he just stands there. He just yeah. Well, again he survived. So now it's only on the, on Nico with a deagle. Not gonna land the shot there onto his uh, well onto the other Nico. And the match is passed. Uh, the Untouchables cause called a pass, and I'm sure this one is tactical. Well. Yeah, at one moment in time, you have to uh, call in that tactical timeout to uh, to hopefully recuperate your uh, a couple of more rounds. But Fenco Gaming right now seems to be on a roll. I mean, even if, though if they will lose a couple of rounds, then it's it's not going to be a problem for them money uh, money wise. But what would you do in their situation at the moment? I mean, you could go for a couple of tech nines, forced by. Not too sure if that's a good idea. Yeah. The problem right now is that there's no point in trying to uh, trying to catch Fenko off guard because their economy is fine. If they lose a round, they buy up the next one. So if you have three players right now on your team with a weak buy, I'd go for a Tech-9 armor, pistol armor, and just try your luck. Because clearly, when you're having gun rounds, it's not working out. So you need to you need to do something new. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like see them go for something aggressive because these these half a takes what they're trying is not working at all it just gets shut down by whoever is playing the site they're pushing slowly so i want to see them go for a fast b or a fast a and just run out with those pistols just hope for the best yeah indeed i mean yeah, anything could happen with those tech nines if you just just go in and, and commit and not just wait around but yeah i mean actually so far has been you know, I wouldn't say lucky, but he played it so well when they did push towards B. And, you know, the Untouchables just couldn't catch him. But if they do, then you'd say it will be very easy to uh, to at least get a bomb down. And get some more money in the bank. But, hey. At least, uh, so far, our uh, prediction seems to be right. Yep. 
<laughs> Indeed. <laughs> and uh, I believe it is uh, Venko. Yeah, Venko already said on pause, so just waiting for untouchables right now. I think the uh, the time for a tactical pause is five minutes. I am not, not entirely sure. sure. No, <laughs> I don't know. Sure as well. I'm not sure as well. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Anyway, yep. Well, freeze uh, time has been cancelled. Unpassed came in from the untouchable. So let's see what kind of trick they have up their sleeve. They're actually going to go for a force by two Galils, an op on Helsi San. And uh, let's see where they're going. They almost have no utility. So they're either going to try to just get a pick and work from there or just going to rush in somewhere. But as of right now, it looks like they're actually going to go for a slow pick and play. Waiting for that Molotov to be extinguished on that boost. And they're going to boost Helsi uh, up with that AWP. Nade's going to rain down. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. And uh, Helsi doesn't realize, I believe, that there's a player just below him. That is Xavi. Who's uh, sporting that M4. Just beneath that boost. Xavi must have heard him as well. Uh, jumping on top of that glitch, uh, glitch roof. Why do I say glitch roof? That's, that's, from, a, that's from another game, but... You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. It's just that... Oh, look at this. The mid pushes on, and Nico is in that vent. Only gets one kill, though. Gets traded out by his uh, named partner. Akit will pick up that kill on Xavi, so and that is mid clear. As of right now, Ketchup will get taken down from Nico as well. Nice little headshot there from him. And now it's all onto Ertje and Klitz. As, uh, Klitz is over towards that A side, but it's actually going to be his teammate who's going to uh, see all the action as he is uh, there with the AWP. Misses the shot as he uh, tries to cross him towards the bomb side. Flash is going to come out of it again. Doesn't blind Ertje up that much. <laughs> Elsie will just go for the dry peek around the edge, and he actually wins that battle. So it's a bit of a risky. It's basically 50 50 when you, uh, when you peek like that, but it pays off for him. And right now it's all in the hands of Klitz. Yeah, and it doesn't seem like Klitz wants to, uh, to go for this one, despite uh, having enough money in the bank, but rather not give a kill. I'm surprised to see that Ertje didn't land at those shots. I mean, he had about three opportunities right there to uh, shut down that bomb planter crossing. But maybe Klitz here can take out a couple of players with him. There goes one. Nico down. But Halsey will uh, shut him down in the end. And the bomb explosion does do some damage, but not enough to uh, kill the remaining three players. Uh, we should see a... Uh... A very decent buy here from the untouchable. They only have two rebuys, so they have three players still left alive, so that means two players can drop a gun. Decent utility as well here on the untouchable side. We have two Molotovs, a lot of flashbangs, a lot of smokes. So uh, if they want to go for an execute, this is the round they can do it. it looks like Klitz. Let's actually hop on board with Klitz. He's uh, going to push it towards that Squeaky. He's going to find some action in the form of A-Kid, who is also making his way over towards Squeaky. Klitz is doing a wise thing, though. He's hiding. He's hiding behind this wall. Klitz is going to peek out. Spots Aiken there. We'll take him down. Headshot. And that is uh, a four on five situation. Going to pop flash himself out of that squeaky area, making sure he can get out unscathed. And uh, the T's are now retreating towards uh, the mid garage. Helsi again boosted up on, uh, on that jump. Doesn't land the shot there, I believe. That was, uh, I think it's Ketchup. Well, Nico actually picks up the nade frag there in a convincing matter. Nico will pick up a second before he gets... Uh, actually, his teammate gets taken down. Xavi gets taken down from Scandalous, and it's uh, now all on the shoulders of Scandalous and Ferret. We're going to make their way over towards that A side. Ferret is in uh, A main. Just trying to peek out, duel it out with the, the player who's hiding at the back of that side. I believe that is Klitz, who's going to toss a Molotov out to delay this push even further, but what he doesn't know is that the T's are already retreating. Yeah, but look at Ertje's position. He, again, he's in such an advantage, uh, advanced position. Just uh, upon that... Uh... Help me out here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm losing my words, but it doesn't matter. I mean, 10 to 1, they are going to get cleaned up as well. So, Yeah, it's, it's going to be a very, very dire situation here for the Untouchables. Yeah, that is that that is that's rough, and I'm not sure what the Intouchables are gonna go for. They're just gonna go for a full eco. See a couple of Tech Nines, uh, actually hard armor 
on a kid and Helsey. Helsey actually having head armor as well. And it looks like it will. They will just make their way out of what? mid. It is uh, now Klitz who uh, sees some action, fires off some shots. Ketchup will pick up two there. The players without armor are dropping like flies, of course, towards to those M4s, especially when you shoot them in the head. Nico will take down Helsey. Two on five, two on four right now. AK to Nico. Make that just Nico. Make that no one, as it is 11 to one. And this is uh, not, not looking good for Fenko. This is a slaughter. Yeah, well, I thought for a second there with that first first kit frag, uh, I was like, oh well, maybe uh, maybe this mid push uh, is gonna work after all. But then Ketchup just comes in and uh, destroys them. Yep, he does. So let's uh, see when the action is gonna happen. Looks like it's gonna be on the B side. Nico with that M4 silencer should be meeting up with these uh, T players, and they're actually pushing out. And you should be a little bit careful there against such a force by Nico Delp. Two frags through the smoke, cutting down those B players, and this will definitely be a round in favor for Fenko Gaming with only three players remaining and a lot of support coming in as well. The bomb is being dropped. Nico going to go for the repeat as that pop flash came in. We'll drop another one. That's a hat trick of frags. We'll get uh, returned by uh, a kit, but Xavi Mini will return the favor. And Xavi will find himself the second one, but 12 to 1. And yeah, this is just a slaughterhouse right now for uh, Fenko Gaming. They're absolutely uh, rampaging through the lines of uh, the Untouchables. Yeah, there is uh, there's absolutely nothing the Untouchables can do right now. I mean, they won one round where they just uh, dominated mid. But that, uh, that was the only round. Let's see if they can save their honor a little bit. For as far as that is possible. Nico will take down one with his pistol. But Xavi comes in with two of his own. Ketchup will look, get a kill onto Akit. And again, it's a four on two situation. And you're like, we're 20 seconds into the round and they just drop like flies. And now it's only, well, it was only scandalous. 13 to one. This is rough. Yeah, it's... The tactical timeout helped them for one round, but that's about it. I mean, after that the tactical timeout, we've seen uh, Venko kind of pushing out on the, the mid side, which, uh, you know, maybe was a mistake as the Untouchable took that one. And yeah, at the moment, we do uh, have uh, Xavi yet again opening up with two frags this time, as uh, Halsey does reply. But the damage already been uh, done by uh, Xavi. We do have uh, Ertje flicking uh, with the AWP again. Such an aggressive player, Ertje is, as he finds the return onto uh, Helsey, the last two T players in the garage side. Yeah, and uh, those T players, well, still unsure of what they're uh, what they're going to do. There's one player over towards A from uh, the Venko side, actually two now. Nico and Ketchup are making sure no one gets into that side. Ertje is the uh, solo man. Defending that B-bomb set. Of course, he has that AWP, so he can at least pick up one kill before uh, maybe being traded out. Klitz will make sure Nico goes down. Ertje will pick up that last kill on the Aiken. That is 14 to 1. That is a near flawless half there from Venko Gaming on that CT side. And a uh, very one-sided affair so far. Yeah, with such a round deficit, uh, I mean... There's no room for error at the moment for uh, the Untouchables. They're going to have to go big, and we'll see what's going to happen in the pistol round. I mean, that's going to be your most crucial round. If uh, Venko win it, it's already a match point, so could be going either way, but still, Venko Gaming now heavily favored. Yeah, they were favored before, but after this... <laughs> um, yeah, there's, it's hard not to favor them. I'm just choosing my words carefully here. I don't want to get stabbed by Untouchables fans, but I'm not sure if there are, there are any Untouchables fans left after this <laughs> map. Anyway, um, maybe they can pull off a flawless CT side and go NIP magic on these, but I don't think that's going to happen. I have to <laughs> say, I, you know what I th even think? I think Fenko's just going to take this pistol and just going to get it over with. Like, Most likely. 
It would actually be a B pistol here from uh, from Venko. Two players, actually one player towards the middle. <laughs> He's going to take down Elsie. Is he going to pick up a second? Yes, he is. Parrot down as well. Xavi is uh, having a field day here out of mid. Let's catch up. Will pick up a kill as well. On to Nico. Gets, actually gets tagged up from one of his teammates. Doesn't land the shot there on the player towards heaven. And uh, see where Scandalous is. As he still has uh, a Molotov. Could do some damage. I'm not sure why you would throw it out there. But okay. Um. Anyway, Bomb is down. Scandalous is down as well. As he gets uh, taken down from Ertje's P250 and is now all naked. Doesn't land the shot there on Ertje. Now they know where he is. Three on one situation. Surely the T's are not going to throw this away. Naked will <laughs> get taken down from the P250 of Ertje. Yeah. That is. Uh... Wow. Yeah, this is most likely going to be it. I mean, the Untouchables can only afford, uh, you know, the pistols. Pretty standard, you know, a couple of CZs with a deagle to hand of uh, of Nico and uh, Scandalous and Farad, both with a 5-7. But the utility is definitely in favor of uh, the Venko side, but doesn't even matter. Archer is going to take out one with the AK to the head, and that's going to be uh, Farad gone. Make that another one for Archer, but Scandalous does find himself the return. Oh, Scandalous and Elsie. Elsie comes with two frags with the CZ. Will get dropped, though, by Ketchup from the side. And the bomb will get planted. The catcher will find himself another one. Could this be it for the Untouchables? As Scandalous, your last man standing one on two, doesn't have a diffuser in his hand. He's going to have to make a big, big run for it. Catcher will take him out. A hat trick of frags for him. 16 to 1 it is then, as Venko closes out the, the second match of uh, the group stage.